Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to strap a kayak onto your vehicle. First, you will need a pair of foam blocks. These are available at any sporting goods stores. They have a little V cut in them for the kayak. Secondly, you will need a pair of straps. You can just Google kayak straps or surfboard straps and they should come up. Or you can also check sporting goods stores. The ones with the waxed ends are the best, and there is also a link in the description for the straps. There is a link in the description for the foam blocks as well. And then you will need a roof rack. If you have a sedan, your roof rack will look like this. You wanna make sure that it'll actually fit your vehicle before you order it. And then if you have a Jeep like I do in this video, you're going to have a roof rack like the one shown here. My advice would be to not buy anything made by Smitty Built because they have a reputation for making pieces of crap that also rhyme with Smitty. And of course, you want to have a kayak. And now with the strapping. You're going to put the kayak foam blocks on top of your roof racks. These should have a little slit on them that you can slide over your bars and then you want to grab your kayak. This is done easiest with two people, but if you only have your lone self, you can just place your kayak at the back of your Jeep or SUV and slide up through the top on top of the foam blocks. Now, if you have a sedan and are trying to load a kayak by yourself, I'm going to link a video from REI on how to do this with a towel and foam blocks and everything. Once the kayak is centered on top of the foam blocks on top of your vehicle, you're going to want to grab the straps. Loop the buckle end underneath the bar and then grab the other end of the strap and toss it over to the opposite side. Then you're going to go to the rear roof rack and do the same thing. Grab the buckle end of the strap, slip it underneath the roof rack bar, and then toss the other end of the strap over the kayak. Now go around to the other side of your vehicle, and then you're going to take the rest of the strap, flatten it out, slide it underneath the bar, take the rest of it, and then toss it over to the other side where the buckle is. And then you're going to do this at the rear as well. Go to the rear roof rack bar, grab the rest of the strap, slip it underneath the bar, and then toss the remainder of the strap to the other side. Now go to the other side where the buckle is, climb on top or just stand up, and you're going to want to straighten out the strap and flatten it as much as possible. And then take the end of the strap, slip it through the buckle, pull it as tightly as possible, and you most likely will want to pull up when you're tightening at the very end. And then once it's as tight as possible, you of course want to check the kayak and kind of push on it and make sure it's secure. And then take the rest of the strap, loop it underneath the bar once more, and then Toss the rest into your window or into the vehicle. And then go to the other side, go to the front roof rack bar and do the same thing. Straighten out the strap, make it flat, and then slide it in through the buckle. Tighten it as much as possible by pulling up. And then you're going to want to check the kayak, push it, pull up on it, push up on it, push it to the side, whatever. Make sure it's secure. If it moves at all, you need to tighten more. And then take the rest of the strap, loop it under the bar once more, and toss the excess strap into your vehicle. And if you would like any information on how to build your very own Jurassic Park kayak, please see the link down below. All right, that's everything. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe. Thank you.